Come on, who hasn't wanted to guide a glowing, pulsating fungal growth through a post-apocalyptic landscape and do battle with mutant botanical creatures? After all, that's every child's dream, right? Oh, oh no? Well, that might change with Mushroom 11. Mushroom 11 is a game that's difficult to describe, but to see it in motion is to understand it instantly. Players control their mushroom entirely with a mouse. Left-clicking on the mushroom allows players to erase a chunk of it. The erased portion will magically enlarge another portion of the blob. So erase the right side and the erased section will slowly grow on the left. Erase the top and the bottom will grow. Admittedly, this is a great oversimplification of the game's core mechanic. In reality, the growth is a little more chaotic. Bulges and bumps grow on almost every side of the mysterious fungus, and lopping off a large portion can cause it to expand in unexpected, uncontrollable ways. Managing the anarchy is half the fun and half the challenge. If that mechanic sounds simple, it's because it is. The real depth of Mushroom 11 comes from compelling level and puzzle design. Levels are, in essence, a string of discrete obstacles with very little in between, and each obstacle is a small puzzle in and of itself. For example, in one instance, players must use their mushroom as a makeshift cog, squeezing between two gears to open a door. In another example, players manipulate their mushroom as a careens on a gravity-defying minecart. Unfortunately, not all of the obstacles share the same level of ingenuity and creativity, and there are a handful of moments where the game loses momentum due to a ho-hum puzzle. You'll come to love the glowing plant-like checkpoints because Mushroom 11 is challenging as all heck. Most obstacles, especially in the second half of the game, take dozens of tries to overcome. Unfortunately, the difficulty of the game is defined by sharp spikes that threaten to derail the experience. Around the chapter 5 mark, I hit a wall. The difficult but not impossible obstacles gave way to infuriating 20 minute struggles. A more gradual difficulty ramp would have gone a very long way to making the experience more enjoyable and eliminating a lot of the frustration. Boss battles shake things up in very interesting ways, and force players to use all they've learned in the last level to vanquish them. These insect, plant, crustacean creatures, all breathtakingly designed by the way, take some serious skill to tackle. In one particular boss encounter, players must mold their fungus into an impromptu ramp, catapulting explosives into a nasty looking creature. In another battle, players must use the flailing arms of the boss to rocket themselves up to the weak point on its head. Each boss encounter is a hectic, exhilarating experience, and all of them act as a reward for completing the devilishly difficult levels. The game's beautiful art style extends beyond the boss encounters. Backgrounds look like dingy watercolor paintings that set the somber tone of the game perfectly. In some levels, crumbling smokestacks pepper the post-apocalyptic skyline. In others, overgrown billboards and dilapidated farmhouses are readily visible. These environments aren't just window dressing. They're the game's narrative driver. Each background tells a sad story of lives once lived, a world once happy. Interestingly, that theme of destruction is echoed in the core gameplay. The fungus under your control is always dying and then rising through a ruinous recycling process. It's strangely poetic. Mushroom 11 is a resounding success. Not only is the game unique, both in look and gameplay, it's challenging, addictive, and fun. It's a shame that the difficulty is so inconsistent throughout, but at $15 on Steam, it should be a no-brainer for puzzle game fans.